Welcome back to the Dofer A170 dual slew limiter uh, basics and audio demonstration. In the very first video in this series, we looked at the basics of this module, talking about what the features and functions of this are. Uh, in the last segment, we kind of looked at some oscilloscope views of this module and how it affects waveforms going into it. Uh, this time, we're going to do both. We're going to hear them and we're going to see them at the same time. So in order to do this, uh, we're going to have to do a little bit of setup for this. We're going to be taking um, our voltage controlled LFO. This is going to be our source of modulation. Sorry about that. And uh, we're going to take the triangle wave up here and we're going to go over to our multiple right there. And then I'm going to be taking this and I'm gonna patch it over into our dual slew limiter right here at the bottom. And then I'm also gonna take the output and go over to our VCO right there. You can see that there's some activity going on. Uh, both of my dials over here are in the zero position. And let me flip it over to the medium setting. That's the zero to 10 seconds. And then the last thing I'm going to do, so we can sort of start seeing these things, is I'm going to patch um, our, our waveform out from our multiple into our oscilloscope. So let's look at our oscilloscope. There's our triangle wave, exactly what we expect. And now I'm going to take a waveform out. So let's do the square wave and go into our VCO and hear what our modulation sounds like. So here we go. So that's our triangle wave modulation going on over there at the oscilloscope. Now let's adjust the rise time just a little bit. And let's look at our oscilloscope. We don't really see that, that marked of a change, but that's because we're actually not seeing and hearing that. So I need to kind of adjust this patch a little bit and I'm going to go out from here, down to the bottom section, and then take this out and go into my CV input right there. And now if we look, I'm going to take my oscilloscope out. Now we're looking at the sleuth signal. Sorry about that. So let's go back to zero so we can start from square one. So there's our sharp edge. Now let me warp it a little. Just adjusting rise time. Let's look at our oscilloscope. Nice little shape there. And also a nice little change in the modulation occurring. Bringing it back to triangle wave. Eventually we'll get our nice edge back. So let's try adjusting the fall time now. I'm gonna bring it up to about a three. You can see it's kind of starting to curve out on the end of the waveform. And you can also hear it at the same time. So I'm gonna bring it back to triangle wave. Now let's adjust both. So I'm gonna bring this up a little to about a two. I'm gonna bring the rise up to about a two. And if we look at our waveform, we have something similar to a sine wave. Not exactly there, but starting to look a little closer. Okay, so that's one waveform. Uh, let's see where we're going now. Okay, I'm gonna take this out. Actually, I'm just gonna take this out and let's try a different waveform. So I'm gonna bring my rise and fall down and then just patch into here. So let's take a look at that modulation. It's about what we expect, it's a square wave. Not very interesting, it just goes up down. It's at the high level, it's at the low level. So we're looking at the output from here. So let's bring up the rise time a little. And look at our oscilloscope. You can see that the shape is now curving upward on the front end of it that down back to square wave I'm gonna bring up the other side of it on the fall time 
And if we look at our oscilloscope, we have quite of a different shape of waveform happening. Kind of a nice flat top, but then it kind of curves going down on the fall section. Okay, now let's shape both. So I'm going to bring up the rise time a little. Now we got that upward curve. And then I'm going to bring up the fall time on my slew. We're getting kind of a nice, interesting shape. Let me go a little further with that. So right there on the A170, I'm at about a... See, that's about a three. We're getting pretty close to a triangle wave if we look at the oscilloscope. There we go. Now let's look at our settings on our A170. We're at about a five on the fall parameter and about a uh, three on the rise parameter. So quite a difference in sound right there. Uh, sort of closer to what we had in the first example when we are looking at the triangle wave, um, but maybe a little bit lower. So in cases like this, if you run into something where you need to bring that signal back up to sort of compensate for something that your SLU is doing to your signal, you can patch it over, like let's say you wanted to do that, you would take it out from here and then go out to an offset somewhere out there in your modular world. And then just patch it right back into your VCO. Cool. So let's unpatch that temporarily before we move on to the next example.